What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria for those of you that are new. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel and thanks for coming back. <laughs> In today's video, as you guys can see by that lovely thumbnail and that lovely title, I will be filming a attempting to glow up with me video. Basically, in the video, I will be glowing myself up. So typically for like glow up videos, I usually watch people like go get their hair done, they go get their nails done, eyebrows, all that stuff. And it sounds good, but we don't got enough money for that so we will be doing everything ourselves starting with my hair i did my hair last night and this is how they kind of turned out i tried to do like a little koi leroy or what's her name koi leray <laughs> koi leray attempt at like doing my hair basically and this is how it came out so i like it um, not too bad, but I'm gonna just basically walk you guys through the process of me doing my hair It was very um, Easy but long at the same time. I started doing my hair last night I started with taking my old braids down which I had to obviously cut them all out to undo them and after I cut all the braids out I washed my hair this morning. I had to blow dry my hair um, Once I finished blow drying all my hair. I started with like the parting process of Making all the parts to my hair which is very time-consuming and I um, After parting the hair, I obviously started braiding probably took me about five hours to do I think um, I didn't really keep track like that, but it definitely took me quite um, some time to do. But yeah, so then I finished this just a couple hours ago. I pretty much finished my hair. So this is what we are looking like. This is basically step one of the glow up, which is why I had to walk y'all through it so y'all would know um, where I started in this process. So on the agenda, I plan to obviously do my hair, which I already did. And then I also plan to tint my eyebrows. I've been seeing this on TikTok um, and I'm very nervous, but hopefully it'll work out. This is definitely probably going to be the next thing I do. Hold on. <coughs> Thank you if you said bless me. Anyways, um, I am going to be tinting my eyebrows and then the next thing I want to do is my nails. I think I might do the eyebrows first so that I don't like mess the nails up with any like tint anyway, shape or form. So yeah, and then after I do my nails, I might do my makeup depending. I don't know. I was thinking about like putting the outfit on and probably going to take pictures, but I don't know about that. We'll see. Basically, it's just like the nails, the hair, the eyebrows. That's like my main priorities. So yeah, let's get into it. As y'all can see, I literally have no eyebrows. Like, my eyebrows are so thin and so light. So, hopefully I can darken them up. I think the first step, though, is going to be pluck my eyebrows. I got them waxed a couple weeks ago, but they're already, like, starting to grow back. So, I'm going to get me some handy-dandy tweezers. Okay, y'all, so I am back with the tweezed eyebrows. I don't know how they look. I don't know if they look that different, but I did tweeze some off. So now I am pretty much ready to start this process. I am so nervous, y'all. I am about to cry if I mess up, like literally cry. But yeah, so everything that comes in here includes, it has, has a little brush, a mixing brush, which I won't be using. I'll be using this part to like mix with it because that's what the instructions say, but I am definitely, um, yeah, I don't think I'm using this brush because I don't want to get it everywhere. I think I might just use this little small angled brush that I have. This is what I usually do my eyebrows with. I think I'm just gonna use that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just use that. Then we have the color base, which looks like this. And then we have our color developer that looks like that. It's not focused. 
And then obviously we have a mixing tray and our gloves that are in here. So I guess I'm gonna use the gloves. And then also I've been seeing on, I don't think I read in the instructions to do this because it's not for eyebrows, it's for beards. And so I'm gonna put like a layer of Vaseline around my eyebrows so that it doesn't tint like this, my skin or whatever. So yeah, I think I will put one of the gloves on just so I hopefully don't get any like color anywhere on me. Oh my God, y'all. Pray for me that I do not mess up. Well, obviously it's gonna be too late, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So it says basically to get the little tray, we're gonna be using equal amounts of the color base as well as the, um, as the color developer. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I got this in dark brown. If you guys can see that, this is what it looks like. It's in dark brown. Um, I didn't wanna go too light or too dark. Hopefully this is enough, or like it's a good color for me. I guess we'll find out, but yeah. So we're gonna take our, this, is, this one is the color base, and we're basically just gonna, they said to just do a little line of it. I really don't need a lot because this is my eyebrows, you know? So, I'm gonna just do this much. And then, we are taking the developer. And then we're gonna basically do the same amount. So it should look like this. So yeah, now we are gonna take, oh, here's the brush. We're gonna take our brush and then mix it together. Sorry it's blurry. I gotta keep like touching the phone in order to, or not the phone, I gotta keep touching the camera in order to like focus. I need to figure out the autofocus setting, but Hopefully this is enough for my eyebrows. It should be, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, this should be enough. I would think this is enough, but it looks light right now. All the videos that I watched, it like changes on your, like after five minutes, it'll look super dark and then you just wipe it off. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm about to use the Vaseline to put on my eyebrows. I got me a little Q-tip. And then I'm gonna just go around and put this around my eyebrows. Okay, so I'm back and I just finished doing it. You probably cannot tell because it's obviously Vaseline and you can't see it, but I did put some right in the middle just in case. So yeah, now we are about to start with the eyebrows. Oh my God, y'all. This might be a moment of silence while I do this so I can make sure that I am not messing anything up and I'm going as slow as possible, so yeah. y'all it's going on very lightly I am super scared but I'm also not trying to overdo it so you're just gonna you're just gonna stop right there I guess and then do the other eyebrow I swear I have one good eyebrow and one bad eyebrow as I'm sure everybody does. And this eyebrow that I'm doing right now is my bad eyebrow. I don't like it and I don't like the way my hair grows like on this eyebrow. But hopefully it'll act right for this video. Okay, so we are gonna stop right there because it's already getting darker. I'm about to um, set a timer for probably like four minutes. <laughs> because um, I took too long and this one is kind of getting darker already. So I'm gonna set it for like four minutes. 
um, timer is set. And then I'm gonna go grab some like a little bit of shampoo or something to like wash my eyebrows off because the instructions say that you need to do that. Um, so I'll be right back before this timer goes off. <sighs> okay y'all, I am back eyebrows are still on it's only been literally like a minute so I think um, I got some shampoo and then I just put this towel in water and that's basically how I'm gonna wipe my eyebrows off once it's ready to be wiped off probably shouldn't be using this white towel but it is what it is all right y'all so I'll be back once this is um, ready okay you guys I am back as you can see or hear, my timer is going off and it is time to wipe these eyebrows. So I guess I'll zoom in. These are so freaking dark, sorry. Hopefully you guys can see this good, but let me wipe these off before I keep them on for way too long. Um, yeah. I guess I should have put two gloves on because I just got dye on the hand that don't got gloves. Okay, anyways. Wiping this off. This is what they're looking like. I mean, they look good, I think. I, I definitely should have left this on longer. I only did it for five minutes and I feel like they could be the slightest bit darker, but I could always still fill them in though. Let me see what these brows are looking like close up. I mean, they don't look bad. It's, it's, it's giving slightly, it's slightly giving, but they are a little light, I think. I don't know if it's because I'm looking like in this viewfinder or like, what I'm gonna get this mess all cleaned up because there is a mess with all this stuff and then we will move on to the next process I mean I am glowing up slowly but surely um my hair looks good my eyebrows are good especially for like me doing this myself like you know I'm not really I'm not used to doing like my own stuff I'm really not that good at it I don't do other people's hair. I had did I did one girl's hair for the first time ever, and it came out pretty decent. But um, I don't really do this all the time, so I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back and say that it's going good so far. But once I come back to you guys, we'll be doing these nails um, after I finish cleaning up this area. Just finished tidying up this desk. I got some like dark brown dye on my hands, which I'm so freaking annoyed about. Um, I guess I should have worn both gloves, but oh well, it is what it is. So now we're moving on to the next glow up process. Let me move this camera back where I had it. And that is going to be my nails. So one second. I'm going to show you guys the inspo for my nails today. If I cannot achieve this look, then I will obviously choose to do something different. But for now, I'm going to attempt these nails. And you guys will basically see if I fail or not. But I bought these like nails from Amazon. They're obviously like press on nails. And um, they all are different colors. I just thought this would be easier for me. And it'll be one less like step that I have to do. Because I have like fake nails or acrylic nail or like press on nails. They're like clear where you can like paint them. They're over there and like my nail thing. But so my eyebrows kind of burn a little bit. I hope I'm not having a freaking reaction to this. Like what the heck? That would be a failed video, but I don't know. They kind of burn or like itch or something. I don't know if they're supposed to do that or not. Um, they feel like how they feel when you like get them waxed. Maybe it's because I pluck my eyebrows. Never mind. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So like these are like the nails. They're like all these different colors. Like this will be quicker for me to basically like paint the design what to paint the design on top instead of having to like paint the nails obviously and then paint the design so i'm going with this like a lightish pink kind of color and then i have some white gel polish 
I have my little UV lamp to cure the nail polish and then I have um, a few brushes that I'm going to use to paint the nails. And then I have this nail bond glue, which is what I'm going to be using to glue the nails on. And then a few more items that I have. Um, I have, I'm going to use like my little nail stand thing to make the design. Just in case it doesn't work out, I don't want these nails to obviously be stuck and I can't take them off. So I'm gonna just use these to like put the nails on and then paint the designs on them. And then we also have like some putty for the nails to stick. And that is about it. I got a new like gel top coat from Amazon that I'm gonna be using and that's about it. If I need to cut the nails, I have these little acrylic clippers. I don't know if I'll need to though. These look like a decent length. So yeah, we're gonna get into doing the nails. Y'all enjoy the video of me doing these nails and we will see how they turn out y'all wish me luck okay i wish i could paint all of these moments and vibrate you are play surge and it can play can play surge and it pillow talk the pillow talk surge and a sweet dream sweet dreams turn into coffee in the morning Talk street art, sarcasm, uh, uh, crash humor in high fashion. Peach color moon glitches the black dickens. As we laugh over shotguns and tongue kisses. Bubble back to for damn, and would you rather? A cold flame, the dull and no shame. Drug sex and Polaroid, pick a star in the sky, we can both say goodbye. Oh, no. Okay, y'all, so I'm back and I'm not gonna lie to y'all I don't really like how this is coming out so I might not do this design it was looking okay but I don't know this is one of them and I showed y'all what like the inspo looks like and for some reason I'm just really not feeling how these are coming out like I don't know if it has to just like go on my nails or not but I don't know I've tried this design before and I feel like every single time I try it it's not giving what it's supposed to give so I honestly don't think I'm about to do these nails I don't know I want to go and like get these nails done one day but for now I'm about to do something different I'm, about, I'm probably just about to do like a basic color and just leave it at that because I don't know it's just not given it's just not given at all so yeah I'm about to just do like a regular color probably what still use one of these like new ones that I just got and then I wish I could paint all these moments and vibrate you are play turns and you can play gotta play turns and it can turn they look okay i mean they're kind of giving press-ons what they are but the color that i picked is this basic like pink color i kind of always go for this color one of these days i'm gonna go for something different but it's annoying because I got all this dye on my hands and it's really making me mad. But I just put like some cuticle oil on the nails and I haven't had my nails like fake nails in like a minute. So I guess I'm going to try and file these down just a little bit to shape them a little bit nicer than what these are. Okay, you guys, so I am back with the lashes, and 
I guess I would say this would conclude the final glow up. I showed you guys what my nails look like. They are okay. Um, I definitely would next time go to the nail salon instead of me doing my own nails. Um, and probably getting my eyebrows done too, other than me doing it myself. But it's okay. It turned out all right for the most part. Um, definitely a glow up from what I look like at the beginning of this video slash last night. I guess I would say this was a success overall. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. Stay tuned for my next video.